If you're over the age of 50 and looking to build some strength in your arms, then don't go anywhere because this video is perfect for you. If you don't know who I am, then my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm gonna to be showing you three of my favorite exercises for building stronger arms if you're a beginner or an over 50. Now these exercises are great for a wide number of people, but they will not be suitable for everyone. So make sure you get checked out by your doctor before you give them a try. And if they cause you any pain, just avoid them. Anyway, let's have a look at the exercises now. So let's go through some great arm strength exercises, perfect for beginners and people over 50. So just to cover what we've got in our arms are biceps at the front, triceps at the back. Tri means three and seps means head, so three heads, two heads for the biceps. And we're also gonna do a little bit of work for our shoulders as well, just to give us nice, well-rounded, stronger arms. So I've got three exercises to show you, and the first thing we're gonna do is the hammer to press. So all we need for this are some small weights. Now I've got dumbbells to demonstrate this, but you actually don't need dumbbells. You can use tins of beans, or dare I say it, bottles of wine, that kind of thing. Anything with a little bit of weight, and if you're just getting started, start off with something between 500 grams to a kilogram, or one pound to two pounds. So I'm gonna start off with my weight. I'm sitting down with my back not rested against anything, just perched on a nice firm chair. And this is a two part movement. So the first part is the hammer curl, which looks like this. So we're gonna keep our thumbs facing forwards to begin with, and we're gonna bring our thumbs up towards us like that, keeping our elbows pinned in. And now we're gonna take the weight higher and try and lift above the head, keeping the elbows pointing forward, then back down, and then drop it down. So this is the whole movement. So we go up like this, lift and up and then down and down. So we don't need very much weight to make this work because this transition going up overhead is actually quite difficult. Now, if you have problems with your shoulders and you can't take it right up over your head, feel free to stop here and then bring it back down. That's absolutely fine. And you're still gonna get a really nice workout for all of the target muscles. But if you feel you can go right up over your head, without straining your lower back or your shoulders like that, then feel free to do that. And I'd recommend that most people work on this exercise in sets of about 10 repetitions. And if you can do more than 10, let's say you can do 12 or 15, you might want to consider finding something a little bit heavier or doing a couple more sets. Now a set is a group of repetitions that you do all in one go. So what I did there was something around eight to 10 reps, and that's one set. And I would recommend doing three total sets every time you do this with about one minute's rest in between. Once you've done that, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Now the next exercise we're gonna do is another one that works the biceps at the front of the arm, and we call this the twist. So again, we're gonna use our weights. We're gonna sit on the edge of a hard chair without leaning back against it and we're gonna move both arms at once in this kind of movement. So we come up and twist, and then down and twist. We come up and twist, and then down and twist. So we start with the thumbs facing forward, then as we lift up to here, we start to rotate, bringing our fingers up towards us, squeeze the bicep at the top, keeping the elbow in the same position, and then slowly twist back down in the same pattern. So up and twist, down and twist. Now this is a lovely straightforward exercise for building strength in your biceps. And what I'd recommend you do here is you keep going until the movement starts to become quite difficult. So let's say this is your last one and you're just getting it up like this, put it down. And before you put the weights down, we're gonna move on to just doing it one arm at a time. So rest for a couple of seconds, then just your right, then just your left. And you'll find that now, because we've got a little bit of a rest at the bottom for first the right arm, then the left arm, you're gonna be able to crank out a few more repetitions and really work those muscles as opposed to just putting the weight down and being done with it. So this will allow you to get an extra four, maybe five out on each arm. Then when your arms are really tired, you put the weight down, rest for one minute, and repeat that three times total. 
then you can move on to the final exercise we're going to cover today. The final exercise we're going to do in today's video is called the tricep kickback and it's a great exercise for the triceps which are at the back of the arm. So to make this exercise work you need something to lean against. I'm going to use the back of a chair. You could also use a kitchen worktop or a sink, something that's not going to give when you put a little bit of weight through your arm. Then with the, work, the arm to be worked, we're going to take our dumbbell. Now, we want to use a lighter weight for this exercise than we used in the previous one because this exercise is a bit harder because we're isolating the muscle more. So it looks something like this. We're leaning forward on our arm. We're going to bring this arm up so it's in line with our body, with our elbow, going probably about parallel with the floor. And then we're just going to try and extend the arm behind us and squeeze the tricep and then bring it back in. I want you to think of your elbow as a pivot point and we're just using the muscles at the back of the arm to extend the elbow and then slowly control it back in. Can you see that how I'm extending, squeezing my arm muscle and then letting it come back in like that. Now you really don't need to use much weight at all. For most people a tin of beans for this will be fine. If you use too much weight you'll start to kick in with your shoulder and then you won't get the same effect. And what we want to do is continue with that slow, steady movement, just coming out, hold and in. The tempo is about one, two, one, two, one, two. That's perfect for this exercise. And you're gonna keep repeating it until the back of the arm gets quite tired. Then of course, we're gonna swap over and do the other side. So the setup for this one would be this hand on, other leg at the front like this, arm up, so that the, the upper arm is parallel with the floor, and then we're just gonna extend back like that. And once you've done your three sets on each side, then you can call it a day, and that was a brilliant arms workout if you're just getting started. So those are three of my favorite arm strength exercises for beginners. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been helpful, do drop a comment below because I love to read them, and it helps me to improve these videos, so thank you if you leave a comment. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book, it's called Thriving Beyond 50 and it's got loads of advice and exercises like the things you found in this video. You can go on Amazon using the link below to pick that up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll speak to you on the next video.